Offshore pipelines are a critical component in extracting, processing and transporting offshore oil and gas from deep offshore to a shore facility. The job of a pipeline barge is simply to lay a pipeline on the seabed from point A to point B. The late pipeline can be either on the seabed or hanging from a bowstring. I have a detailed video on how to do a pipe lay on my channel. I suggest that you watch that video first before continuing with this video. In today's video, we will talk about riser installation from point of view of an offshore surveyor. What the surveyor needs to know and do during a riser installation. This video is not an engineering video of riser installation. In this commercial world where everything has a value, I have distributed my surveying knowledge with you over the past 5 years. And I will continue to do so if you support me. This video will be available for all the subscribers of my channel. If you think that this video or any other video on my channel has brought a value to you, then please show me your support by subscribing and clicking on the super thanks and buying me a coffee. If you want to support me continuously, then please join my channel as a member. Let us get back to the video. Let us understand first what is a riser. A riser is simply a portion of a pipe that connects to the laid pipeline on the seabed and rises up above the water up to the platform. There will be connectors and valve to connect the riser to other internal pipes which takes it further for processing. Risers can be mainly of three types. The rigid risers for the rigid pipelines for offshore platforms. Flexible risers are mainly used for SBM, FPSO and floating platforms. Another is a hybrid riser which is a mix of flexible and rigid pipes. But the job of the risers are exactly the same. It is the connection between the pipeline on the seabed and platform or some other facility to transport oil and gas from one place to another. Now there can be another type of riser used in the floating drilling rig. It is called marine riser. It connects the rig with the BOP on the seabed and drilling pipe is lowered through this marine riser. So this is a typical drawing of pipeline and riser section. Now this can be vastly different depending on the face of the platform where the riser needs to be installed and lay up the pipeline on the seabed with respect to the platform face. There are some prerequisites before a riser can be installed. First we need to know where is the end of the pipeline and lay of the pipeline with respect to the face of the pipeline where the riser is going to be installed. During the pipe lay, the end of the pipe lay is laid at a predetermined location. But a lot of time, this predetermined target box is either overshot or undershot. So a simple as laid survey is necessary to understand where the pipeline end is. As the riser needs to be fixed on the platform, a set of clamps needs to be installed on the jacket members to hold the rigid riser pipe. So a riser clamp installation barge must have installed the riser clamps beforehand. Next you need a very accurate distance measurement from the end of the pipeline to the riser base. A riser base is the point on the seabed where the riser rises vertically. Now you cannot have a 90 degree bend in the riser pipe. So the riser pipe will be rounded. To measure the distance in shallow clear water, normally divers will carry out a metrology and in deeper and inhospitable water, LBL will be used to measure this distance. Have you heard of LBL metrology? It is very common in the offshore field. Maybe someday I will make a video on that. Now you have a pipeline segment and you have a riser segment. Sometimes you need to add some additional piece of pipe between them to connect them together. And these are called spool. 
depending on the distance and face of the platform and lay of the pipeline on the seabed the spool is designed and lowered to the seabed and connected to the pipeline using valves and bolts sometimes the entire spool and riser segment is prepared on board a barge the pipeline end is lifted out of the seabed using multiple deck cranes and the riser segment along with spool is welded to the pipeline end and then slowly the entire pipeline spool and riser is lowered back into the water and the clamps tightened so that is a short description of how the riser is installed the next is what a surveyor has to do what are the help a surveyor can give to a riser installation barge so now that we have a fair idea how a riser installation is done let us concentrate on what are the sequence of events and where a surveyor can help and assist the barge people and what a surveyor needs to do if you are still with me at this point please subscribe and like this video so for a riser installation a barge has to approach the riser platform stern first okay in the barge there will be at least 5 devils at one side of the barge always remember to position the barge keeping the side of the david towards the pipeline side so the barge will be positioned parallel with the pipeline say about 2 to 3 meters away from the pipeline okay next the divers will go down and carry out a metrology divers might ask for a usb beacon to help position themselves and to find the pipeline so you need to carry out a usb positioning for that you need to carry out a usb calibration so once the metrology is done that data will be forwarded to the field engineer and the welding foreman and they will construct a riser piece a belt piece that will be connected with the pipeline and a straight piece that is coming up towards the platform as the riser piece is being manufactured on board the vessel on board the barge the divers will go down again and all the david hooks will be lowered into the water okay and the davits will be connected on to the pipeline there may be a case where you may have to install at least five beacons on various hooks of the david that is connected to the pipeline this is at most important this is required for you to find out the profile of the pipeline as the pipeline is being lifted from the seabed so as this is very important you need to know what is the usb beacon depth so when you are calibrating and operating the usb system you must make sure that the usb beacon is giving you the correct depth from the surface of the water not from the transducer to the beacon So now that the USB beacon are connected to the David hooks and David hooks in turn are connected to the pipeline, the barge will also use a NEMO, a pneumatic depth sensor, onto the David hooks. For them, it's a backup to know the pipeline profile. Okay, and they will slowly start picking up the pipeline, and the pipeline will be not straight up; it will be inclined. The sternmost David. will pick up more and the bowmost david will pick up a little less so the pipeline profile is like that this is towards the stern okay and the pipeline is going down in a slant profile you have to make sure that the profile is good and to check the profile it may happen that the barge may launch rov to fly along the pipeline profile to have a visual confirmation So once the pipeline end or the pulling head of the pipeline is above the water the barge will use a bear clamp to hold the pipeline end or the pulling head and they will cut off the pulling head portion next the big rig will pick up the riser piece from the deck and they will weld it onto the pipeline using the bear clamp to align them together and there will be usual ndt x-ray and wrapping done on the weld joint and once everything is ready they will slowly put the pipeline down on the seabed 
and try to pull it from the platform end so that the riser end is aligning with the clamps that are already installed on the platform and once the risers the complete pipeline riser is aligned with all the clamps they will simply close the clamp and complete it and that's all that's all is being done on board our vessel that's the riser installation i hope you learned something new today this is not a big thing everybody every surveyors and engineers are trained to do this kind of a job if you really like this video please give me a thumbs up and comment down below i'll be back with more such videos so keep learning and i'll see you in the next video